Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Wamu here and um, I'm going to do a quick kind of an overview of the Corsair SP120 RGB Elite 3-pack kit. Um, I've had these for about, if I would say, probably around two months now. Um, I've had them so I figure I'll just give like my, my overall opinions on them um, and if they're worth the buy or not or just wait for them to come on sale. Um, so basically I'm running three right now. So I have three 120 intake. I know I should have probably taken off, but I didn't. I have a 240 um, all-in-one liquid cooler from, Core, uh, from Cooler Master, um, exhausting up. And then I have one rear, uh, just one regular Corsair um, uh, 120 millimeter fan that came with the actual 4000D case, which by the way, I love this case. Um, I came from a 275R um, case um, with no front mesh. So it was kind of always hot and the fans ran really loud. Granted, uh, the fans that I had in that case were um, these cheap uh, up here fans. Um, now, don't get me wrong, they did their job for, I believe I paid like $25 before everything went crazy um, during the pandemic. I paid 20, 25 bucks for a five pack. Um, and then I ended up buying another three pack because I gave it to my son in his, his um, case. Um, the thing with this fans though, um, they actually come with their own priority, like their own um, uh, connector for a hub. Um, so you can't actually like control it through the motherboard or or any type of software. You basically take this, you plug it into the um, kit, the uh, box that it comes with, and that's basically where you get your power and your RGB. Um, and really the RGB setting is basically like certain colors, some stagnant um, rainbow effects, but they basically cycle through each other you can't like program or anything like that um now these were loud now that's another thing too since i can't control the fan speed with these these were really loud um these right here um you can definitely do i believe these are 500 to 1500 yep right there so they're 500 uh, minimum up to 1500 rpm they are controllable with their um software from the icu from corsair's kit which is pretty cool um i don't know if you guys can hear it that's them running right now. Put it kind of close to see if you guys can hear it. Um, they're not the loudest. Um, I do technically, I do typically run with a fan in this room because um, it is really small. So I, I do get really warm. Now my PC is right here and my setup is over here. So it's not too far. Um, but most of the time I'm wearing my headset so I can never really hear it. Um, I know some people are really, really picky with that. Just keep that in mind. They, they, they're, they're noisy. They're a little bit noisier. Um, now this kit does come with a, um, controller, um, controller box. So you basically set all, all the fans to it right to the back. So everything can be plugged in there. So that controls all your RGB. And then I don't know if you can see it, but they are daisy chains. So all you do is you run basically all three of those connected daisy chain them. And then you use one CPU header, uh, fan header for it instead of running three, which I believe this motherboard is the ASUS Tough 450 motherboard. I think I have four, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that makes it a little easier. Now, just like any RGB kit, the the cable management is horrible. I'm not even gonna open up the back of this PC. It's pretty rough. I'm never, I've am never, i never been good with uh, cable management, so I'm not even gonna pretend I know how to do that. Maybe one day I'll eventually do it. Um, but really, I wanna say, for the money that you're getting, I bought these for about $64.99. They're on sale. Um, I like them personally. I would get in a second kit. Um, but I mean, you can go on Amazon.com. Like, Inwin has a really good, nice set for, I believe, $30. They just don't have the same amount of function, like RGB settings and things like that. Um, but I personally like them. I think the build quality was really great. Um, they already come with some rubber grommets already built in them. So some of the some of the uh, cheaper ones, you have to either put them on yourself or they don't even come with them at all. So they save a little bit of money doing that. Um, but honestly, overall for this kit, I would definitely recommend it. If you're looking to kind of like give your PC a little bit of flair with some RGB, um, I would personally do it. I think the settings that, um, the, the type of changes, the lighting effects that you have, there are a lot of them. I really don't want to go through them here. I'll just open it up real quickly. So I'm doing this on my iPhone. So, so right now, because I have a Corsair Void Pro 
um, wireless headset, I can change the light in there. Here's a light node here that you can control all your RGB settings um, from the fans. And then of course my Asus motherboard is also here as well, which allows me to actually change the settings too. I can literally change all of the settings. Um, the Cooler Master already comes with their own 120 millimeter um, RGB, ARGB fans. Um, but you can actually control them with the software from this program with from Corsair, which is pretty cool. Um, the motherboard lighting that are on the back there, there changes, and you can even change your um, um, R ARGB from your RAM sticks if you happen to have some, um, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, again, I personally love them, I think they're great. I would probably buy another pair. Um, Again, there's a whole bunch of other ones that I was looking at. The Thermal Take makes a good one. Cooler Master also has one. I haven't tried those, but I have been, I've personally used these and I actually do really recommend them. Um, that's really it guys. Uh, I'm new to this. I'm gonna continue trying to just do things, do reviews on stuff that I, um, I already own. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, please, I would love to hear what you guys use. Um, if you happen to use the same ones like me, Cool, shoot me a comment down in the comment section below. If not, let me know what you are using. All right, YouTube, peace.